I'm Elise Bowman. I'm the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT. And I am with Brandon McKinnis. And I'm the voice of Sir Night Eye. Yes, and this is Anime Adventures, where I talk with anime folks. <laughs> Welcome to Anime Adventures. My Hero Con in Irving, Texas, and how perfect. I love <laughs> you were cosplaying your character, and I love Thank that you. today is the day we're doing the interview. Yeah. I had no idea. It's good. I'm glad that this worked out. It worked you know? out perfectly. So I'm, I'm glad I got up early and like shaped my wig to yes. be ready for the con. It's so nice. <laughs> I but I'm not going to touch it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sprayed down. Oh, it's, it's like sprayed. Glue. Oh, yeah. oh, it yeah, is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Industrial. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so, how much fun have you had being on My Hero? I mean, what oh, a great character. It's a wonderful show. It you know, like, the writing on it's show. excellent. Like, the, the storyline's wonderful. Mm. We have all these dynamic characters. I feel like a lot of anime these days has, like, very static, tropey type characters. And we don't see a lot of character development in the shows. Mm -hmm. But with My Hero, it's totally different, right? Like, right. we see everyone grow and change. And, and my character, Sir Night Eye, goes through a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't want any spoilers. Yeah, so no, no spoilers, spoilers right? But, right? but it's great. That's what I love about the show. That's and what a great quirk you have. <laughs> uh, with uh, you can say your quirk, right? I can. Not, I can. Not give any other. Spoilers. I won't give any spoilers. Yes. Um, but uh, my quirk is foresight, and I can see the future yes. with, with certain parameters. With within cer certain parameters. Right. right. But, so if you had a quirk, what would you want? Ooh, I really would love to be able to just like teleport anywhere. I mean, think mm -hmm. about how much you would save on airfare. Right. right? And time. Oh. Yes. yes. I'm going to Tuscany for the weekend. Yes. You know. Be right back. Be right back. <laughs> Toodles. You know, that'd be great. Toodles. <laughs> that would be a good one. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. I haven't heard that one. And so. <laughs> You're right. My Hero is such a great show, such great writing, such great character yeah. development, and they evolve. So why do you like? Why do you connect with the show so much, and why do you think people connect with the show so much? Well, I mean, like, to me personally, mm -hmm. I feel like the whole point of the show or the underlying theme is what makes a hero, and is it someone's special abilities? Is it their character? Is mm -hmm. it something, can you become a hero if you work really hard, you know? And, and I like how the show explores that. And we all want to be heroes in our own right, whatever that may mean for us. So that's that's why I think so many people connect to my hero. Yeah, you're so right. Thank now, you. do you have a hero who has been there for you over the years? Oh, uh, Michael's been there for me. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Michael. Michael? Hey, Michael. Michael! Michael. You say need hi. to video bomb our, our video and say hi. You just got called a hero. Hi. Oh. How's it going? Frame? I'm a lot. I'm a lot less but tall than real life. The mic is it? Hey. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, and this is probably still blocking. That's fine. Huh. That's fine. That's no, fine. No, no, no. No, no, no. We don't need one. I'm a voice don't. actor. You don't. Huh? Oh, I can put it back down. See, I'm getting notes from the videographer here. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to do this. That's so great. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, thank you. I'm out thank now. You. Okay. Oh, Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. So it's great. I've been able to talk to Michael on the show before, too. You can catch Yay. that video. Well, let's talk about some other characters yeah. because you have. Man, you have some good ones, and I think this is fa a fascinating one. To oh, discuss. yes. Yes, this is Gen, Asagiri uh -huh. Gen, from a show called Dr. Stone, and this is his voice. And he's he's a magician, but he's also an entertainer. And mm -hmm. this is the only character that I've ever voiced that uses my entire range. Oh, really? Yeah. So he goes like way down here, and then. You know, like, he's, yes. he's very extra. He's the most extra character. You know, so I love that show. That's absolutely AZ Cray. This is Arable Day, not Airfe. Can you give us a little oh, Pig Latin? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I'd love to talk about this. Yeah, yes. the Pig Latin thing. We hear him deliver lines like, um, like, you might say, like, ooh, that's really bad. But instead of saying really bad, he'll say, Ely Ray Ad Bay. And people wonder why. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's a very divisive issue. Because some people are like, why is he speaking Pig Latin? But a lot of people don't know that in Japanese, entertainers on TV and comedians will sometimes switch their syllables, the first and last ones. Um, and it sounds very much like Pig Latin. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just... Uh, 
a cultural thing that's developed for entertainers on TV, and that's why he does it. So we do the same thing in the English to do our best to replicate it, and oh, that's why. Oh, so yeah. fun fact. Yes, yeah, fun fact. <laughs> I like that. Now, here's a fun fact that yes. I actually just learned that you speak Japanese. I do. I do speak Japanese. So can we hear a little, uh, yeah. and then you tell yeah. us what it means? Uh, なんか僕が日本語が話せますそして僕はなんかえっとアニメの吹き替え版のアメリカ人声優なんですがえっとアニメーションという会社のためにとたくさんの仕事をしますあ、that in Japanese, oh, and uh, yeah, and I, I worked in Tokyo as a translator and interpreter for a little over a year. And really, it was fun. It was a good were time. you already doing voice acting, or did you no. start doing voice acting after that? After, after, sure. I okay. really like when I learned Japanese. I wanted to be able to consume content. A lot of, I played a lot of Japanese video games when I was younger, mm -hmm. and I wanted to know what it was like to play it in its original language. So I started studying, mm -hmm. and then I really enjoyed the process of learning the language. And mm -hmm. then I fell in love with localization, like taking something in one language and trying to replicate it in another, like, <laughs> while still retaining the same feeling that it gives you. And oh. so, um, yeah. Man, you would be a really good writer at Funimation. Have you ever done that? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't done that. That's, it's just so tedious. I'll, it, I'll leave that to Michael. Okay. <laughs> that's Michael and the other folks, yes. Yeah. But sometimes well, during sessions, when I'm in there, when there's like a script issue and we don't have a lot of time, and the director's like searching for the translation, I'll say like, oh. hey, do you want to just play it in the J? And I can tell you what the line is and give you any cultural context if needed. And oh, it speeds up sessions a lot sometimes. Yes, I bet directors <laughs> love having you in there for they many do. reasons, yeah. but that's yeah. like a handy little talent yeah. that you have. How long were you in Japan? Uh, when I worked there for the company, uh, about 13 months, okay. but uh, I studied abroad in college too, so I've been there a bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, let's talk about one more character. All right, yes. Finral of the Black Bulls, Portal Boy. Uh, yeah, so this is a show called Black Clover, and uh, it's Very rather popular. popular. Yes, it's on Tsunami. It is. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I'm, I play this character, Finral, who's just this sweet little bean. And uh, <laughs> he's a fun one. He's he's the only like womanizer that I've seen in an anime that takes rejection super well. He's like asking all these girls on dates, and when they're like, mm, no, he's like, okay. And we move on, and I'm like, that's healthy. Thank you, <laughs> finally. Oh, everybody Jeez. needs to take rejection. <laughs> right. Yes. It's a good lesson. <laughs> now, you seem to just love what you do. What's yeah. your favorite thing, or, or some of your favorite things about voice acting and about this oh, anime community? I love, oh, the community is so much fun. Uh -huh. Like, this this show, like My Hero Convention, oh, where at, great show. is like the largest convening of voice actors on My Hero ever, I think. <laughs> and so I love... As you know, mm -hmm. like we don't see each other as much as we want to. Right. So it's super fun to go to conventions and, of course, meet the fans, but also to meet the people we work with and hear all the time and enjoy the performances of. Yes, you know, but so. don't get to see because I think there are 25 voice actors. Is that Ooh, right? I, I think it's so. Something it's about something about 25, around, there. around 25. It's, yeah. It's fine. So it it's is. So fun. It is nice to actually get to see and hang out and chit chat. And then you and I had not met yeah, in great. person, but I knew who you were. So <laughs> it's also nice to get to meet people. Yeah, that yeah. you just know in the the world it's of anime, fun. yeah. It's fun. And and enjoying, I don't know, like you understand, you hear performances of other people, and you're like, man, that was really good, and you want to see them, and yes. so we could see them at conventions and be like, you were amazing. Go, no, you were amazing. No, you were <laughs> no, amazing. You. So, no, you are. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> Now, have you had a really cool fan experience that you weren't expecting over the weekend or at a con Ooh, recently? Good question. Um, yeah, actually. <laughs> So um, I worked with a company uh, as, as a programmer and uh, like the chief financial officer um, who worked with that company, his son is really into anime and his son was at this convention. He was like, you worked with so-and-so at this company and that's my dad. And I was like, oh, cool. Here, have a friend. You know, so that was neat. It was really was like, ooh, small world. You small know? world. Because yeah, I, I feel yeah. like anime is, is kind of this world that we, we live in and mm -hmm. it feels kind of separate from the rest of the world it does. sometimes. Yes, a lot so of times. when those cross over, it's very surreal. It is. It is. <laughs> Now, what do you do? Like, what are some hobbies you do outside? Oh, uh, I love writing music and producing music. Oh, that's right. And you have a YouTube channel. Yes, I yes. do. So I do a lot of covers. So I covered uh, the season four opening song, uh, Polaris, from My Hero Academia. 
Um, I did that. I covered the Witcher song, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I produced music and I recorded and That's it's awesome. Fun. Yeah, so many talents. <laughs> this is so great. Well, I think we should say bye and sign mm-hmm. off in a character voice. Let's Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a good I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh. Again. Yeah, let's do it's... Gen. Gen's okay. a fun voice. Let's do I'm gonna y- you do him and I will try to do your Oh yes. Voice. Okay. Yes. Ooh, ooh all right. I won't be successful. But... <laughs> <laughs> all right. What what do so I say? So we'll say bye from Anime Adventures. Okay. Bye from Anime Adventures. Bye from Anime Adventures. <laughs> I tried. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. I'd love for you to subscribe. Click the bell so you'll be notified of other interviews. Comment the whole bit. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you. I love it. I love it. That was fun. You were great. Attention, UA students. It's your boy, President Mike, on the mic again, letting you know we got about 15 minutes until we wrap up. Hey. It's Sir Nai-Nai! Hello. Is that all you got, Sir Nai-Nai? What's up? Yes, I'm doing my taxes right now. I have to be very serious. It is tax season. I know all about it. I haven't done mine for... I mean, I, I do mine what? every year. You haven't done your taxes yet? No, of course I do it's, my taxes. It's already February. If you don't do your taxes now, you might miss something. It's possible. I've never been audited, though. Good. I hope you don't get off, but it could happen at any time, and you have to have the foresight to know that things will not be good if you do the right. This, this is very true. Uh, I have very little foresight. I mostly stop being loud. But letting you guys know, we got about 15 minutes left, so get your autographs. Yes, yes, I put on this cosplay just for this con. Absolutely, if you haven't come, get in your picture with Nana. He's over here, and uh, yeah, come on. Boot scootin' boogie. We only got a little more time left before the Super Bowl. Hey, Nana, what are you, a, 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 a San Francisco fan, or do you like Kansas City? Uh, are, are those movies? Sure. <laughs> All right, y'all. Plus Ultra.